with Wayne here from Adreno Brisbane. I'm here with some um, freediving suits. So we've got a bit of a range developing here. And uh, let me just go over a few of the suits and uh, how, we're, uh, how we're being using them. Quite often you don't think you're going to need uh, a suit, a wet suit to dive in the pool or swim underwater laps in a pool. And uh, because pools are quite warm generally. However, once you start doing some fairly regular training, most people find that because their mammalian dive reflex will drop their heart rate down and cause a vascular constriction, you know, the constriction of their uh, blood vessels in your, uh, your extremities, you can get cold as soon as you start holding your breath for any uh, amount of time. And if you're in a pool training for an hour, hour and a quarter or something like that, it's quite often that you will develop, uh, you know, you will get chilled. Okay, but let's have a look at a few of these suits. And uh, uh, um, first of all, I'll have a look at this, uh, this Salvimar. Now this one I know about because I have a, one of these. And this is uh, the, the Salvimar Fluid model. This one here is 2.5 millimeter. Uh, it's quite warm. Uh, it's, quite a, it's quite good for use in the uh, ocean. Does not have a hood and quite often in pool and in ocean, the freedivers will use a, uh, um, a cap as opposed to a hood. We try and get uh, as much distance we can uh, by being streamlined and by having smooth skin. Believe it or not, the difference between having a smooth skin and having your own skin in uh, distance can be like meters. So uh, this one here, I've, mine now is nearly two years old. And it's, uh, uh, it's resilient, you know, I think it's a, it's a good product. And I'm using it twice a week in the pool. Now, you understand the correlation between chlorine and neoprene. You go, well, you know, <laughs> that's, that's a bit rough on neoprene. And chlorine does eat neoprene, no doubt about it. However, there's something you can do about it. And that is, you can uh, soak it. When I get out of the pool, Go home, I soak my suit, sometimes overnight, to get all the chlorine out. Every so often, I will wash it in a product like that, just to uh, make sure that uh, the, you know, the chlorine in it is neutralized and out of, the, out of the suit as best as I can. It comes in the men's, that's that one there, and it comes in the nice purple one, which is the ladies' version. That's this one here. Same deal, 2.5. You just got the nice purple stroke, and it's a slightly different cut, of course, but uh, it's uh, just a good, robust suit. This is the two-piece Salvimar 1.5 uh, millimeter, so it's very fine, um, smooth skin as well. This would be a great depth suit. You've got the hair, hood, you've got a, a double coverage there on your core just this, this situation here where you've got the bottom coming up under there. So it's going to mean more uh, insulation on your core as well. Uh, but be, being 1.5, this is going to be a lot easier for you to work um, you know, through the water. Okay, so this is a new one. I would like to try this one. I think it's going to be a really nice suit. Okay, and then the final one we've got, which is the latest edition we've had, is this... Uh, we're back into the Orca range with a, uh, the open water. This is the Orca open water. Now, as you can see, smooth skin all down here. It is a, probably would be made for a swimming purpose. Okay, so uh, it's a nice smooth um, finish down the, the guts there. And look, you can notice here, the uh, arms aren't meant there. They're actually cut to be more up here, and actually, which is very beneficial for freediving because we're often using them up here for our streamlining. And same with the swimming, you know, it's cut this way because uh, the swimmers definitely get into a, uh, a stretching motion when they're stretching forward like so. Okay, uh, I've got a couple of divers who are using this suit in the pool with us, and they're finding it really good. It, isn't smooth skin here, but it's pretty good. But that is dead smooth skin. So it's going to be a, a fine uh, suit for passing through the water. Okay, that's the open water 
orca. And we have that both, they're both orange and they're both in women's and men's sizes. So I think, uh, you know, a, a free diving suit is an important part of the game. Uh, you do need to look after them and uh, they're not as robust as the uh, spear fishing ones where you've got the, uh, you know, a, a, a strong um, lining on the outside and you can roll around on the coral or the rocks or to some degree. Uh, they're not like that. But, uh, but they definitely help you pass through the water and uh, get better results in that respect. Okay, Wayne from Adreno. Cheers. <laughs>